Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 24 of this WWE 2K17 Did You Know series in which today we'll be taking a look at 5 more things you might not know about WWE 2K17. Did you know large stars such as Jim Neidhart and Vera have their own unique pickup animation from the side? Previously in the series, we featured Diesel who has his own unique pickup animation that sees him pick up opponents by the head, but did you know other larger stars such as Jim Neidhart and Vera also have a unique animation that sees them pick their opponents up with both hands after stepping over them? Not content with Vera trying to copy his style, Jim Neidhart also goes one step further with this unique glitched animation. Did you know certain moves have multiple animations depending on your stamina, including normal and fatigued variations? This one comes from Scorpion Gaming 2 who reveals certain moves have different animations depending on how much stamina you have remaining, with certain moves such as the pedigree seeing the player collapse to the ground after performing the move with low stamina. Other moves with alternative fatigued animations include John Cena's attitude adjustment, Sheamus's bro kick, Chris Jericho's code breaker and the Undertaker's tombstone amongst others. If you'd like to see more of these in action, you can also check out our top 10 tired finishers using the annotation on screen right now. Did you know some moves have multiple major reversal triggers? This one comes from Erika Rosari who reveals that some moves have multiple major reversals as opposed to the standard minor and major reversal. One example in which this can be seen is Becky Lynch's leg drops which include a reversal when the move is first executed with the move then having two major reversal points, one before the first leg drop and one before the second. If you know of any other moves with multiple major reversal points, leave a comment down below and I'll put a full list together. Did you know it's possible to perform Samoa Joe's powerbomb into a Boston Crab OMG moment as an announced table finisher? Earlier in the series we featured Mr. Perfect having his own unique announced table finished move that isn't listed in the choice of available options, but did you know that Samoa Joe also has a unique finisher? This one comes from Red Tiger who reveals Samoa Joe actually has two announced table finishers as aside from his standard announced table finisher it's also possible to perform Joe's powerbomb into a Boston Crab OMG moment on the announced table. Joe's first finisher is executed as is any other announced table finisher by removing the cover from the table and using one stored finisher which sees him execute the Rikishi driver through the table, however should you save up three stored finishers and execute his announced table finisher then he'll actually perform his powerbomb into a Boston Crab OMG on top of the announced table which won't break leaving you free to force your opponent into submission for all to see. Did you know it's possible to have unlimited flaming tables in WWE 2K17? This one comes from I underscore drive underscore cause who reveals a pretty cool trick that allows players to have unlimited flaming tables including the ability to have flaming folded tables as well as being propped up in the corner. To do this you want to first have one stored finishing move and then ignite a table by walking over to it and pressing the finisher button, then once you've done this you'll light the table on fire at which point you want to put your opponent through the table as normal. Next, press the start button and go into the highlight reel, then rewind time back to when the table was on fire. Once you've done this, simply exit the highlight reel and you'll find that the broken table is now reignited on the mat, leaving you free to perform moves into the fire reminiscent of the iconic Cactus Jack in Terry Funk Japanese death matches in which Foley lost his ear. From this moment on, any new tables that you pull out from under the ring will also be ignited, however the game won't recognise it, meaning you can actually pick up and handle the flaming table as normal, allowing for you to place it in the corner position which then allows you to perform corner finishers in the flaming table which previously wouldn't have been possible. Should you wish to turn off the flame and table glitch, this can be done by pausing the game and then going back into the highlight reel, at which point the fire should then be removed. So guys that brings us to the end of today's video but if you've got any lesser known features, secrets, hints or easter eggs that you'd like me to cover let me know about it in the comments and I'll give you a shout out in the next episode. Also let me know your thoughts in the comments on all of today's features as well as how many you knew and if you enjoyed the video I would love it if you could drop a like to show your support and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever a new episode is released. As always though until next time have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.